Which one are we doing first? Ah, a little grocery tax bill. Good job, good job. Good job, good job. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Good job. Good job. All right, we ready? All right. You start handing pins out there. There you go. Yeah, I told Eighteen. All right, y'all got what you need. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you good. Governor, I know you don't normally talk at these meetings, and I know you. I let anybody talk. I know you're very appreciative of the House and the Senate, but I just want everyone to know it's because of you that we're here today. Absolutely. You took the initiative uh, to uh, exempt the sales tax on gross. I have served in a lot of governors. But you're the only one that took the initiative to do it. So I just want everybody to know we've got this man right here to fight for. Thank you. All right, now what are we going to do? Imagine that. <laughs> this was uh, Governor Huffington's uh, number one accomplishment, uh, according to what he said while he was uh, our kids' first place. Which, incidentally, I spent when I was a, a whatever a senator. How are you, Roberto? You're in charge of ten. Since you did the bill, the useful part of the process. You did the useful part when you passed the bill. Get back up here where we answer some questions. I know you got questions. Give any thoughts about being able to sign the Arctic expansion after you, I guess, what, 12 years after? Yeah, you know, I, I hadn't thought about that, Seth, until you just mentioned it, but. Was it 12 years ago? I know it was back when I was in the Senate and it was a proposal. Arkansas advocates had been pushing it. I remember Amy Rossi had tried to sell Governor Tucker uh, on the idea of the Our Kids program for uh, providing health insurance for children that didn't have health insurance that were uh, in poverty or at a certain level of poverty, 200% of the poverty level. And, and uh, for whatever reason, uh, nothing happened and then she continued her fight and Arkansas advocates continued their fight, and ultimately uh, Governor Huckabee made it a singular part of his, I guess, first uh, legislative program uh, when he was governor, and, and that would have been in 97, if memory serves correctly. Uh, I was the, spot, the lead sponsor of the bill and was proud of it then. Uh, as I mentioned, Governor Huckabee mentioned time after time he thought it was his number one accomplishment or the one he was the most proud of. Uh, and you all got the quotes, so you, if I've misquoted it, you can, you can clear it up based upon what the records reflect. Uh, but yeah, I guess what, 12 years later, uh, we're adding 8,000 more kids, uh, and that's a neat thing. Well, you know, a one cent doesn't make a lot of difference. I mean, it's, you, you can just do the math. Of course, if it's, if it's $5 or $10 or $15 each time a mama that's making a uh, minimum wage goes to the grocery store, it helps. I think you have to look at it cumulatively. How much does 4% help? And if you don't do this one, how likely are you to get rid of that other one and seven eighths, you know, the, other than that one eighth that the people put on by the Constitution? So I, 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 think it, I think you have to look at it as a whole. We've done four cents now. And this further signals we're not going to quit. We're going to, and I'll tell you something, y'all are, I don't mean to sound hokey, but I believe this as much as I believe anything I've ever told you over a course of 27, 28 years in public service. As important as the reduction of the grocery tax is, 
as important as any of the relief that could be for any of those families, it's not nearly as important as trying to keep your word. It's not nearly as important as trying to let the, the public who votes for elected officials know that elected officials in many instances, some of them, and I think more of them than not, won't try to lie to them and will try to do exactly what they told them. Now, sometimes they can't. Sometimes circumstances change. Sometimes things are different. Sometimes you just fail. But the public knows that, too. I think trying to restore the, pu the public's faith in their elected form of government is more important than any single substantive issue that we've got because it's the very essence of our system. And I know that sounds kind of soapy, and I know that sounds kind of hokey, uh, and, and it'll be more credible when I say that when I'm retired. But I'll say it when I'm retired, just like I'm saying it today, because I believe that it's that important. Thank you all.